When the Asian tsunami struck in December 2004, over 200,000 people were killed and 1.5 million were left homeless. With so much reconstruction money flooding into the region, are these countries rebuilding better than before, or has this unique opportunity been squandered? When the tsunami hit Sri Lanka's coast, roughly 40,000 people were killed and 443,000 people were displaced. 110,000 houses were damaged, and at the current rate of reconstruction, it'll take Sri Lanka a further five years to recover. Apart from the human death toll and infrastructure, the physical environment was also badly damaged. In the months following the disaster, teams of waste disposal experts were drafted in to remove toxic waste from the shoreline and wetlands. But in the rush to rebuild, further damage was done as pristine areas were cleared to make way for new homes. Work is now underway to replant the mangroves that were destroyed in the tsunami. Children from over a hundred different schools along the south coast are now helping to restore the country's natural defences. After the tsunami, this area was devastated, and so these children are participating in an environmental campaign where they're planting trees to prevent further environmental disasters. By doing that, we're hoping to encourage the children to think environmentally and educate them further about their importance. Many here believe the tragedy of the tsunami can be turned around and the foreign funding flowing into the region can be used to make things better than before. Uh, when the tsunami struck, we had the chance to relook at some of the problems that we had been facing. What happened was whatever we had done wrong, we had the chance to redo it. And I believe that in certain sections of the coast, uh, we have a chance to rebuild them in a manner that we could look at sustainable development. So in reality, I think that the tsunami, though it was a devastating experience, we did have an opportunity within it.